We're here at DFE talking about Paul Kaufman's new line, P.S. Kaufman. Paul, I'm interested to kind of hear about your background. I originally was part of a company called Nana, and we were the first people to import Dr. Martens to the United States for distribution. Over the course of many, many years, we developed a lot of other styles and, um, you know, had quite a really great following. I guess about two years ago, I read an interview with Chloe Sevigny mm -hmm. that was, she was talking about what her favorite brand was, and it turned out it was Nana. Um, Chloe had been wearing a boot that she found in a vintage store in Texas, mm -hmm. and which was this boot. So this was kind of chosen to be the centerpiece of the, the collaboration. This was a great, great boot in the early 90s as well, just clean and classic. But at the time, there was really nothing in the market like this. This is actually has been the best seller for them. This is almost a hybrid of, of this boot and mm -hmm. uh, clog and platform and yeah. sling back. One of the boots we had a phenomenal success with in the in the late 80s, early 90s was what we call our pole climber boot. And so we reissued this boot. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the process really was pretty simple. I dug through my archives and they picked a bunch of shoes and you know we, we collaborated a bit in terms of any updates. How did this lead you to then create PS Kaufman? When, when Chloe had mentioned that she wanted to also collaborate in the same article I read with Nana, I uh, met with opening ceremony and, and Chloe in New York um, because they, they also collaborate together. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I really wanted to insist upon was that if we're going to redo some of the, the old Nana shoes that they be made in the same factory. I went down to the factory which is located in Mexico and when I walked in it was just it was an epiphany. I mean, let, I got goosebumps and the smell, the sound, everything just was like, what have I been doing for the last 15 years? Right. Um, so I said, so I've got to start my own brand. 